Okay, so we're back with Kay. Hi, Kay. Hi. And you know what she said? She said she's going to blow my mind, which means she's going to blow yours. I don't know if you can blow my mind. It's been 34 years of sewing, but how many have you been sewing now? Uh, since the mid-70s, so... Yeah. Uh -huh. And I think she probably could blow my mind, and that means your mind's about to be blown. And an interesting <laughs> thing, I think, is I taught my first quilting class before I ever made a quilt. Oh. That's sort of different than most people. <laughs> <laughs> but I had been teaching machine arts and machine embroidery, free motion, and my students so said, we why both, don't we do some quilting? So we both start started with free motion. Right. What a nice mm -hmm. feeling it is to yes. do that. Okay, for this quilt, the hardest part is to find your dark, medium, and light fabric. What's it called? This is called Stacking My Blocks. That is so cool. It's kind of a play on the tumbling mm -hmm. block, right? Right. Yeah, but much easier. But if you look at it, I love these kind of quilts because they <laughs> mess with your eyes, right? Yes. So I'm going to go down straight on it and let people look at it a little bit. So you can see either... What, what is that... Oct that's not an octagon. It's the it same. actually forms a hexagon, but we don't use a hexagon. Okay, so you, if you look at that, you can either see the hexagons, or you can see this little block, or you can see a block <laughs> sitting on top of a block uh -huh. next to a bigger block, and, and it's really all just your mind playing tricks yes. on you. It looks as though you're walking around down this little sidewalk, <laughs> around this little block, but it's all flat. Yep. So show us how you did okay, it. Okay, so dark, medium, and light. Okay. If you can do that, then I can show you and how easy it is. And those are your values, right? Yes, and what you need to do is to sew this in strips. So you're going to have a strip made up of the dark and the medium color. And so, so long strips. Yes, long and, strips. And, it, and can they use a jelly roll with this? or do, is, What's yeah. the width? Okay. Uh -huh. Doesn't matter what the width is. Oh my goodness. The wider your strips, the bigger your quilt. That's I'm, mind blowing. Okay, so you're starting. These, yeah, these are two. Mine are two inches here. Okay, and okay. so of course these would each be longer, but we have the medium and the light, the light and the dark, and the medium and the dark. Okay. And then we so take three sets. The star maker of six color groupings. Right. And we're going to cut what we call topless triangles. And sounds, I always sounds naughty. Yeah, well, I always think that's why we get so many porno hits on our oh. website because we strip, we cruise, we have topless um, triangles. And you know what? At Creative Feet, if you Google Creative Feet and you don't, if you put a dash, uh -huh. just don't go there, ladies. Just oh, don't okay. Go there. <laughs> so we both, those have, things, huh? we both yeah, have things to do. People do very strange <laughs> things with their feet. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do is cut topless triangles. Well, how are we going to do that? So you mean that, is that because you cut off to allow the quarter inch seam allowance at the, well, at the top? Well, in, in a up. way. Okay. Yeah, it's like not Kay quite it. a quarter of an inch. Okay. It's where the quarter inch would cross. Okay. Okay. It, it took some figuring to get it. And, and you end up with a point when you sew them together. Right. So it's like cutting off your dog ear before. Yeah. Do you know why we do this topless triangle? No. As long as you brought that up. Go ahead. Tell me why. Okay. So when you look at, let's look at this. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna come. I'm being a tripod, so let's okay. see. I'm gonna move without making anyone seasick. There you go. Okay, right here, that triangle, because it was topless, the finished size of this light color. This is what she means by topless. And the dark, right? But the finished size of this light is the same as the finished size of the dark, because we cut the top off. Otherwise, the little one would almost disappear. Okay, so I'm a little confused, but it's late. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can you show me with the pieces? Maybe that would be easier. No? Uh, yeah, in a minute I can. Okay, okay. Well, it'll make we'll sense. Get to it. Of course, we are still going to have our minds blown. Yes. Right. Okay. right here we have this first line down from the top of the point. I'm going to zoom in using my arm. And that's going to go at the top of the strip. Cool. And then at the bottom oh, and of it, the and strip. It, and it's topless because you have a strip. So it's, it's a strip... Okay, <laughs> hey, this is really simple because he really, it's really, it's already straight. You mm -hmm. didn't have to make it topless. It was no. already topless because your ruler right. slides up. And yeah. isn't that clever? See, you don't have to think. It is a good thing because sometimes we quilt right. late at night. I don't know what time it is right now, but Kay said we may go all night. We might. <laughs> okay, we wind up with six triangles. Okay. That's all you're going to get. Now what we need to do is set sew them into a unit. 
And the first unit is going to be made of, let me see here, let me get this going right. This piece. Are you using the cutting board to help you lay it out? Nope. Okay. It's just there. <laughs> so you really want to build the hexagon on the outside, right? Are they... Okay, here we have one unit. So all the triangles that look like these three are so go ahead sewn together into a unit. Okay, and it's got a very strange looking uh, joining there. Well, it's not joined yet, that's why. <laughs> that won't happen when it's put together. <laughs> okay, now we have three other triangles. You know what, I did something wrong, believe it or not. Oh good, no, it's believe not just me. Believe it or not. Uh, I left an error in my video recently. They like it. Okay, this way, this way, and this way. Okay, that's the first unit. And then the second unit is this. And this it's important piece. that you have these or you won't be building the block. Yes, and that's your second so unit. So if you think it's odd that you're putting the darks together like that, it's so that they end up being that dark wall right here. Right. Then okay. when we go to assemble it, our f every other one, all the odd number rows, start with this unit and go to this unit. And it would be an equal number of both to build a quilt. There. And however many you build is, and however big yep. they were, will make the right. determining. We'll determine the size of the quilt when we. Yeah. Go. And the even rows start with this unit and go to this one. This would be so good for a charity quilt. Yeah. And see what happens. And, oh, it is so cool. It just it happens automatically. You don't have to think dark, medium, and light. You just have to select them. You just have to do this. So there we go. Make. Make this grouping and this grouping. Mm -hmm. And how nice to only have three. It's really only three. One, two, three. Yeah. And it's just how you arrange it that makes that amazing optical illusion. Mm -hmm. Using the Star Maker 6. The Star Maker 6. Mm -hmm. By Kay Wood. Kay Wood. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun night. Thanks, Kay. All right. Thank you. Bye.